Good morning and welcome to the Graduate Theological Union's Sustainable Societies Conference 2. Visions for a viable future in a time of COVID-19 and climate calamity. Whether it's climate change or other forms of change, change is most certainly in the air. It's heavy scent wafting more strongly in the nation's awareness through the past several years. The clear trajectory towards change began with the match that lit the powder keg of fear in the hearts of immigrant families, people of color, religious communities in harm's way, LGBTQ communities, and spread into a disastrous period for the environment. But change was also the cry of those moved to protest the stunning injustice of extrajudicial killings of unarmed Black Americans. And it echoed across communities during a violent pandemic that quickly spiraled out of control into an oversized impact upon minorities. The absolute imperative for change as the transformative power for good, as the reign of our better angels crashed into our consciousness as the United States Capitol was breached and desecrated in an unprecedented insurrection against American democracy. The color-born crisis of minority communities, the airborne pandemic of COVID-19, the environmental injustice we see, economic inequity that we experience, an impending climate catastrophe, and the unspeakable tragedy of the ongoing sixth mass extinction share a common link. That common link is the malrelationship of humans with the biosphere in which we are embedded. This malrelationship is visible in the invasion of wilderness to poach wild animals that often result in the spread of zoonotic diseases. It is visible in the pipelines we embed to access fossil fuels, crushing the soil and the lives of entire bio communities across vast tracts of land. It is visible in the mountaintops we decapitate for access to coal in the slashing and incineration of tropical rainforests and their other than human inhabitants for ranching and logging and the dumping of toxic waste in our waterways. The human cost of our malrelationship with the ecosphere of such devastation and pollution is massive. And as decades of research has shown, not only leads to economic and social inequities, but to environmental discrimination. It is often said that diversity is America's strength. And it is a diversity of thoughts and ideas and epistemologies that we need to tackle this massive network of unprecedented crises that we face as a planetary community. But you know, diversity cannot be a strength when it is penalized and pulverized. This is the danger of triumphalism. Diversity also cannot be our strength if it is maintained in siloed solitudes. This is the danger of cultural disjunction. Diversity can only strengthen the fabric of our society if its many hued dreams are interlaced in the warp and weft of America's tapestry, then and only then does a complex cultural strength result, vivid with many imaginings and yearnings. As President Johnson's inaugural address reminds us, they came here, the exile and the stranger, brave but frightened, to find a place where man could be his own man. They made a covenant with this land. 
conceived in justice, written in liberty, bound in union. It was meant one day to inspire the hopes of all mankind, and it binds us still. If we keep its terms, we shall flourish. But how are we to move beyond these individual dreams and into shared visions? In this quest, a theology of the land beckons. In, in a time of climate change and environmental degradation, a spirituality of place could move us towards care and compassion more naturally as we sense a belonging to a beauty that is America's geography. As a Hindu American theologian, I traverse by the light of the principle that holds as sacred the intrinsic value of the plenitude of divine creativity on earth. The purpose that gives meaning to life is thus the communion and the quest for that communion with the divine, but experienced through intimacy with creation. The fabric of my ancient faith contains key strands interwoven with gratitude for and profound interrelationship with the natural world, which is no different from our world. It is only one world and it is all natural. But this tell us to find transcendence in immanence is well reflected in an ancient hymn from the canonical Yajur Veda. And it evinces an intertwined existence with the living world that we're integrated into it. And I will just read the translation of my own translation of this hymn. May peace sweep through the skies and universally across the immense spaces. May there be peace on earth, peace in the waters, peace in all herbal plants, peace and flourishing in the trees and forests. May the divine realms be inundated with tranquility. May in all that exists anywhere and everywhere, May there be peace alone. May all be calm and ever serene. Om, peace in all three levels of existence. Thank you for joining us and welcome once again to GTU's Sustainability Conference 2. Enjoy the conference. Thank you.